Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, I know it's been a little bit of a while. It's been a while since I've been here. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, and um, I, I have a guest here today to help explain one of the reasons why I have been, been on that hiatus. Um, so joining me today is Joey Tysick. Joey of ONTV, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming in. I was going to try to play this. Now, you know, this is, I'm a little rusty to begin <laughs> with, but I, let's see. I don't know if you can hear this. Let's yep. see. Yeah. Right, right. So <laughs> it's been almost four years that I've been doing this podcast, but I did take a little bit of a hiatus, mm -hmm. but uh, but I'm back. Yeah. Here I am. And uh, I'll be starting a new series next week. It's gonna I'm going to have on some local business owners and entrepreneurs um, just talking about how they got started and mm. maybe provide some inspiration for those who oh, want yeah. to uh, start <laughs> their own business. But a couple of things that I've been doing this fall. One is I found a new love in substitute teaching. Um, I, awesome. There's a special education center here in Lake Orion, and I spend a lot of time there, and I love it. But another thing that I found <laughs> that I have a kind of a love-hate relationship oh, yeah. it's a, with. It's a toxic relationship, that's for <laughs> it sure. It is. It is very toxic, and that is fantasy football. Mm -hmm. yep. And we're to blame. <laughs> yes, you are to blame. You invited me this summer to join uh, to join the ONTV Fantasy Football League. Yep. You are the commissioner. Mm -hmm. So, so what is that like? Because this is the first year that I have right. had anything to do with fantasy football. So, as the commissioner, what specifically are your duties? Um, I just, for the most part, I try not to. I try to stand off a little bit as a commissioner, but I just make sure. I try to make sure that everybody remembers to set their lineups as best as possible. Um, I just kind of go over and I make sure that the league is set up and yeah. invite people in and. Like I said, I, I don't really do a whole lot, but if, yeah. if I need to, I can. I have commissioner powers right, right, that I can right. change lineups around if I really wanted to, to be devious, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, and you had to get us all like together, right? And you mm -hmm. had to, you know, get who was going to be playing and have right. so many players. And we did a draft back yeah. at the end of August. And that was fun. That was my mm -hmm. first experience. Although I came to the studio, I thought we were all just getting together to like draft. <laughs> and you're like, oh, we're doing it on camera. I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> like, we're a TV so, studio. Yeah, we have to make everything a show. I know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, you and Joe Johnson here have mm -hmm. had the fantasy football podcast and each week went through, um, you know, what was happening in our league and also in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And I listened to that religiously because <laughs> I needed all the help I could get. <laughs> yeah. And we're, we're hoping next yeah. year that we're going to do some stuff leading up to the draft to okay. help out those people okay. that like are new that <laughs> yeah. don't really understand how drafting works and things like that. Cause it's a little tricky to, at first to yeah. get used to. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I came in not really knowing mm -hmm. what to expect. And we used uh, one of the apps is Yahoo and we yep. use that app and um, Yahoo likes to give you a rating mm -hmm. as to how you drafted and I got an F. <laughs> yeah. So I got an F. Yahoo basically bashed me and said, mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing. Why are you here? Yeah. But then you followed so, that up with like six straight wins to start I, the season. So. I did. I did. I, I, I luckily I learned that you could hit the waiver wire and mm -hmm. you could pick up some different players and drop others. And so, especially in those first few weeks, I did yeah. make a lot of changes and, um, yeah. And it kind of, I, I kind of got hooked. So, yeah. so that's how I spent my free time instead of, uh, you know, getting together my guests and producing my show mm -hmm. and putting it out. I was, I was setting uh, lineups, I was setting lineups and researching players for fantasy yeah. football. So. It, <laughs> it is a grind if you're, I mean, we're super competitive. Um, yeah. so you're doing research, you're watching all the games, but yeah. it makes football Sundays that much more enjoyable. It really does. I've always loved football, mm -hmm. um, but really up until this year, I couldn't have told you like maybe one or two players on the Lions, right? right. The home team. But other than that, like players, mm -hmm. no idea. Stats, yeah. you know, how they performed, no idea. So right. this was really all new for me, but yeah, like you said, the, the competitive spirit came mm -hmm. out, and I was like, all right, I'm going to find, yeah, find and, out what I need to do. And we don't do. compete for anything but bragging rights. Right, honestly. right, yeah. There's nothing on the line. I know there's a lot of these fantasy leagues, and people pay good money. Like, yeah, a couple to, of my other compete. leagues. <laughs> Some of your, <laughs> yeah. your others. I was not in any of those. It was probably for, for good reason. But, yeah, you, gotta, uh, you work your way up there. Yeah, and, yeah. Eventually. Well, we'll see. I, I, I'm not much of a gambler to begin yeah. with. Okay, so, that's fair. So for fun, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, I'm all about the title, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the title is good. Right, so. yeah. Although 
I did not receive the title. Uh, yes, as you mentioned, I, I, I started off strong, but mm-hmm. I quickly started to uh, to fall in the rankings. And somebody else who, although <laughs> didn't start low, yeah. you know, definitely climbed up. I had my ups and, and downs. You, yeah, 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 yeah. You, uh, but I feel like you benefited from, because early on in the season, the one of the things I did not know is with this waiver wire, right? So there's mm-hmm. players that you can pick up, but depending on where you were ranked, the yeah. lower you are, the sooner you get to pick up a player. So mm-hmm. if there's a good player that's sitting out there on the bench, if you're low ranked lower, you're going to get him before right. somebody else. Yep. And because I was sitting at number one, I got last pick and most of the time did not get who yeah. I was originally hoping for. Mm-hmm. But And that happens. That's that happened to me in my other league too, where, you know, you start the season off so strong and then you get one injury or two injuries and then you have to replace somebody, but other people have priority. So you have to like dig deeper and it gets tough. Yeah. Yep. Well, so I brought you on, not just because you're the commissioner and the one who brought me in and the reason I haven't done my podcast <laughs> in a while, but you are also the ONTV fantasy football champion yes. for 20, the 2023 season yeah. so congratulations i need i you know if i knew where it was i'd play like the applause for <laughs> yeah. you oh, yeah. right yeah so it was yeah. a lot of fun i got to take down my wife in the championship yeah. game <laughs> yeah, so. I, know, I, know. I know that was kind of fun because we got down to what was it the the quarterfinals and mm-hmm. it was looking like it could either be you versus joe joe johnson yeah. or you versus marie your wife and yeah. uh yeah it was a husband i'll take and either wife. i'll take either match up there it'll be fun <laughs> you're like bring it yeah well i know uh on, on the fantasy football podcast you had marie on one mm-hmm. week and Woo, she was like, bring it. <laughs> yeah, she's super competitive. Yeah. That's kind of how our relationship works. Yeah. Um, we also played each other in our ESPN league. Um, and I hate to say, she didn't play in the championship, but we played earlier in the year, and yeah. uh, she she beat me pretty bad. But yeah. I also won our ESPN league, too. So oh, wow. It was a pretty big, pretty big year for me. I lost in my big league, so I play in three leagues. Okay. Um, All so right. I got two out of three, which is one of the best years I've had. That is fantastic. So. Well, congratulations. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to be – you're going to have to share your notes for next season. I'll so. try. <laughs> you're like, no. <laughs> I mean, I like when people are into it and I can give advice and stuff. And yeah. I – the hardest thing, though, is to not take too much advice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it. Right. Yeah. Because I, I know there are weeks where I just I went with my gut mm-hmm. um, or there were weeks where I tried to think it through a little bit too much and didn't go yeah. with my gut. And then my gut was right. And yeah, that's where it know, gets. That's where yeah. I get burned a lot is I yeah. start to think too far into it and I get too deep into it. If you talk to Joe, he'll tell you all the mistakes I've ever made. <laughs> Joe's Joe's over here. Well, yeah. Joey. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I did do so with my family. We do this uh, survivor pool, mm-hmm. and for those who don't know, like it's for for the NFL for football as well. But each week you have to pick just who you think is going to win. Yep. You know, no no players or anything. And so you were actually my my football Yoda, I guess <laughs> yeah. for for worked that for league. a little while. Well, it worked quite. I mean. It's the farthest that I've ever made it in yeah. the survivor pool. So and and you, you know, you'd give me the information and then it was up to me to make the choice. And, right. and uh one fateful week I did not make the right choice. So yeah. <laughs> I actually consulted with one of the students at school as well. And <laughs> so I, I, I kinda went with his advice, won't name <laughs> any names, but but uh but yeah. So yeah, so it's it's been a lot of fun mm-hmm. and I do think at one point that I said I'm done with this and I'm never doing this again. But yeah. uh but Let's be real. I will be back next season. Yeah, and you're going to want to be better than ever. So that's right. Now that's I'm how gonna we get you. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing my research, and uh, but hopefully I can find a way to balance so mm-hmm. that I can still <laughs> still come to you with T with right. Tracy and uh, and and also participate in fantasy football. So yep. it it really was a lot of fun. So I'm glad that you had fun. Yeah. That's the, that is the most <laughs> yeah. important thing. As much I as I did have fun, I did have fun. <laughs> as much well, as fantasy can be frustrating. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh yeah. And trust me there were days although I would say the the first loss I knew was coming and actually it was your wife who took me out Mm. so week seven that was my first loss but I I knew it was coming just (laughs) just with my lineup and she's had a pretty solid team Mm -hmm. so um she was a really tough one tough one to beat um but uh but yeah so it was it was a lot of fun I enjoyed it um but I think probably my favorite part not just like being able to watch the games was that you and Joe and I sometimes a couple others but there's a, a group chat that right. you can get on yeah. and and that's kind of fun because then it feels like you're watching the game mm-hmm. with other people yeah. and uh you know some of the the not really trash talk so much but 
you guys, I could ask you questions and be like, right. well, why, why this? What's going, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> going on? And get my questions mm-hmm. answered. So, yeah. yeah. So it was a lot of fun. Awesome. So. But, uh, well, anything that you want to say as the champion of two, two different fantasy yeah. football leagues or any advice that you can give to those of us that, you know, we're new to all of this. Yeah. Um, I would say take a little time off. <laughs> Enjoy it. Because <laughs> um, the draft happens in April, for the, the actual NFL draft. Okay. And uh, at least in the last couple of years, rookies have been very, very good, especially wide receivers. We saw a lot this year. Yeah. Um, there's this is a big quarterback class coming in as well. Okay. Um, so if you want to get really into the nitty gritty, yeah. watch the draft, see where players go. Okay. And basically, as soon as the draft is over, I start watching fantasy football podcasts oh, all summer long. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I okay. So this is. But big, make sure to take your time off because. Yeah, yeah. This is a big. Commitment. Sometime I get too invested. This is a big. This is a relationship. <laughs> I did not realize how serious it was when yeah. I got into it. So. <laughs> well, I mean, realistically, you could wait till probably August yeah. if you really wanted to. <laughs> and cram. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like I did in college. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. So, all right. Well, I'll keep that in mind, though. April, pay attention and. Yeah, the, start I would say the draft is one okay. that's kind of important to watch to yeah. see where players go because that could influence a lot of things okay okay then take some time off enjoy the summer (laughs) all right yes i'll play some pickleball there you go yeah (laughs) so all right well thank you so much joey thanks for joining me thanks again for for bringing me in and uh (laughs) and thank you all for tuning in i'm back tea with tracy so we're gonna have a great series coming for you in the upcoming weeks so be sure to tune in thanks see ya